Who is Albedo? Why is he after Ben Tennyson? How does Albedo manage to replicate the Omnitrix and create his own Ultimatrix twice? What unique abilities and powers does Albedo gain from his altered Galvan form? What happens to Albedo in the end? We shall find the answers to all these questions as we look at the complete story, timeline, and evolution of Albedo. With my ultimate evolved superlative brain, I shall make the universe perfect. Do you still think I'm a freak show? We shall follow the story in chronological order, starting from when Albedo was a good guy and he met Ben for the first time when Ben was about 10 years old. The story of Albedo starts with him working as an assistant to the first thinker, Asmuth. In Omniverse Season 1, Episode 4, titled Trouble Helix, we learn about malware's origin and the galvanic mechamorph's history. The episode starts with Asmuth and Albedo working in the lab, and Max seeking Asmuth's help to fix the malfunctioning Omnitrix. Malware, a corrupted mechamorph, attacks Galvan Prime seeking Asmuth. Malware makes it clear that he wants help from Asmuth to help him function well. Asmuth narrates to the Tennysons that he accidentally created malware and the rest of the mechamorph species when he was conducting some experiments on the moon of the Galvan planet. This moon becomes known as Galvan B. Malware, an incomplete mechamorph. Its life code interrupted, corrupted during creation. Ben, as feedback battles malware, but the Omnitrix fails, and malware escapes with an incomplete helix. Malware also kidnaps Albedo, hoping that he can manage to complete the helix and fix Malware. While on Galvan B, Albedo fixes Malware, allowing him to have some added special abilities, making him superior to other members of his species. Ben, Max, Gwen, and Asmuth chase Malware to Galvan B. Malware absorbs technology, making him unstoppable. Ben transforms into Diamond Head and encases Malware in Crystal, defeating him. Albedo is rescued too in the process. At this moment, Ben doesn't realize that he just rescued one of his greatest future enemies. The next time we get to see Albedo is in Ben 10 Alien Force, Season 2, Episode 3, titled Good Copy, Bad Copy. In this episode, the Forever Knights are attacked by a mysterious creature, Humungasaur, who demands to know the whereabouts of Ben Tennyson. Gwen and Kevin track down Ben and discover there is another Ben, who is actually Albedo, and claims to be the creator of the Omnitrix. Albedo wants the Omnitrix back and claims it is incomplete and dangerous. A battle ensues, revealing the truth about Albedo's actions. It is revealed that Albedo actually wasn't happy with how Ben had been using the Omnitrix, and that he was not worthy of using it. As a result, Albedo ended up creating his own version of the Omnitrix, but sadly for him, his Omnitrix ended up getting linked to that of Ben, keeping stuck in the form of Ben Tennyson as his default DNA. Albedo went after Ben Tennyson to get the original Omnitrix to use it to reset his Omnitrix so that he could go back to his original Galvan form. During their fight, the two Omnitrixes ended up touching or linking, causing Albedo's hair to become white and his eyes to turn red. Asmuth, the true creator of the Omnitrix, appears and punishes Albedo, leaving him trapped in his human form. Asmuth also takes away Albedo's Omnitrix. The episode ends with Albedo vowing revenge against Ben, setting up future conflicts for Ben and his allies. Then they will all suffer, starting with Ben Tennyson. We get to see Albedo again in the Alien Force Season 3, Episode 19, titled The Final Battle Part 1. In this episode, Albedo escapes from prison and goes back to Asmuth's lab and steals a device called the Ultimatrix. Albedo tries to use it to transform back to his Galvan form, but sadly, finds out that the Ultimatrix does not have any Galvan aliens in it. This is because the Ultimatrix is linked to the recalibrated Omnitrix currently being used by Ben, which no longer has gray matter as an alien. The stage is set for a climactic showdown as the stolen Ultimatrix plays a central role in the escalating conflict. Asmuth discovers that Albedo, his former assistant, has stolen the incomplete Ultimatrix. Albedo plans to acquire the original Omnitrix from Ben to reset the Ultimatrix. Realizing that he can't win alone, Albedo decides to work with Vilgax to take down Ben and keep the Omnitrix for themselves. Back on Earth, Albedo captures Gwen and Kevin, using them as bait to lure Ben into a confrontation. Max advises Ben not to fall into the trap, 
but his concern for his friend's safety compels him to face Albedo. Albedo reveals the Ultimatrix's astonishing power, enabling him to transform not only into Ben's aliens, but also into their ultimate forms. As Ultimate Humungasaur, Albedo easily defeats Ben and forces him to surrender the Omnitrix. Ben gives the Omnitrix to Vilgax, who has allied with Albedo to conquer the world and destroy Ben Tennyson. After getting the Omnitrix, Vilgax decides to keep it for himself instead of giving it to Albedo so that he could transform back onto his Galvin form, as per agreement. Vilgax uses the Omnitrix to control and upgrade his army of Biods. At this point, both Albedo and Vilgax have an Ultimatrix and an Omnitrix, respectively. The story continues in the next episode titled The Final Battle Part 2. This episode serves as the concluding episode of Ben 10 Alien Force. After giving Vilgax the Omnitrix to save his friends, Ben is filled with guilt. The team, aided by Gwen's magic, confronts Vilgax on his ship. Ben threatens to self-destruct the Omnitrix via voice command. Vilgax thinks that Ben won't go through destroying the Omnitrix, but he actually does. The Omnitrix self-destructs, and the explosion incapacitates Vilgax and permanently deactivates his army of Bioids. After that, Ben obtains the Ultimatrix from Albedo by threatening him that he will cause it to self-destruct just like he did with the Omnitrix. Albedo gives the Ultimatrix to Ben, and with it, he transforms into Ultimate Swampfire to battle Vilgax. During the fight, the spaceship ends up crushing into Earth's ocean. While in the ocean, Vilgax assumes his true monstrous form. And now you face the true form of Vilgax! Ben escapes by transforming into Jatre. The spaceship ends up exploding, leaving Vilgax's fate uncertain. The team celebrates their victory, but Ben vows to face Vilgax again should he return. With the destruction of the Omnitrix, a new chapter begins for Ben, as he possesses the more powerful Ultimatrix for future adventures. While Ben was fighting Vilgax, Albedo managed to safely escape from the spaceship and landed on Earth. After that, we get to see Albedo again in the ultimate alien episode titled Double or Nothing. In this episode, Ben, Gwen, and Kevin discover a live stage play called Ben 10 Live, starring a look-alike of Ben with real aliens. They attend the show and learn that the impersonator is none other than Albedo, who escaped from Vilgax's ship and needed money and a place to stay. Albedo attacks the group with a sound wave grenade, but is eventually defeated by Ben. They uncover Albedo's plan to set off a doomsday bomb, intending to transform everyone into genetic copies of Ben. Ben and the team attack Albedo, and in the process, the bomb goes off and transforms Albedo back into his Galvin form. Albedo explains that the bomb was not meant to harm anyone, but just to transform him back into his Galvin form. After the explosion, Albedo gains the ability to transform into any of Ben's aliens without an Ultimatrix, but he cannot maintain his Galvin form permanently due to interference from the Ultimatrix. Albedo blames this new problem on Ben and tries to attack him using his Wrath transformation, but quickly gets defeated and knocked out by Echo Echo, marking the end of the episode. At this point, Albedo can transform into other aliens, including his Galvin form, momentarily, but he still reverts to the form of Ben after a while. Albedo makes one more appearance in Ben 10 Ultimate Alien in an episode titled Night of the Living Nightmare. It is the 29th episode of the second season of Ben 10, Ultimate Alien. This episode largely centers on an alien species called a Cassiopeian Dream Eater. It has the ability to trap people in a nightmare. In this episode, Albedo tries using a Dream Eater on Ben to try and get the Ultimatrix from him. Sadly for Albedo, he trips and falls while trying to put the Dream Eater on Ben's face, causing it to land on his own face. This ends up trapping Albedo in a very strange nightmare. In the dream, Albedo tries to manipulate Ben into giving up the Ultimatrix using various characters such as Vilgax, Agrigor, Gwen, and Kevin. Eventually, in the nightmare, Ben overpowers Albedo. At this point, Albedo gets arrested and is taken to a plumber's holding facility by Gwen, Kevin, and Ben. The episode concludes with Albedo facing his fears, surrounded by multiple Ultimatrix aliens in his nightmare. The next time we see Albedo again is in Ben 10 Omniverse Season 4, Episode 7, titled The Ultimate Heist. After being held under arrest by the plumbers for some time, Albedo manages to escape and builds himself a stabilizer device to help him control his alien transformations. 
After that, he starts impersonating Ben with the help of Kyber and seeks to obtain a polymorphic crystal for his stabilizer device to achieve ultimate power. Albedo pretends to be Ben and works with Rook and Argit to get the crystal from Inspector 13. Eventually, Albedo transforms into Wildvine and ties up Rook, Argit, and others in a betrayal. He fights Inspector 13 and Ben and he still manages to retrieve the polymorphic crystal and transforms into Ultimate Humongosaur, Ultimate Echo Echo, and Ultimate Spider Monkey. With Argit's help, they defeat Albedo and capture Inspector 13, but Kyber quickly rescues Albedo using his spaceship. While on the ship, Albedo is now capable of transforming into his normal Galvin. The new stabilizer device also gives him the ability to transform into Ultimate Albedo. The episode ends with Kyber and Albedo setting their sights on their next plan to take down Ben Tennyson. Ultimate Albedo. Even Asmuth himself will bow down before the intellect of a hyper-evolved Galvin. After that, Albedo and Kyber team up in the Omniverse episode titled A Fistful of Brains. Ben and Rook chase Albedo in Undertown, but he escapes into a spaceship. Ben gets lured into the ship and gets trapped in Kyber's hunting preserve and encounters a wild slamoid. After transforming into Cannon Bolt, he faces a crab dozer. Ben encounters Kyber and his new Panuncian pet. During a hunting challenge, Ben transforms into Ditto, but Kyber unleashes his Nemetrix and creates multiple copies of his pet. Ben splits into various Dittos to escape the Panuncian predators. Ben faces off against Kyber's Nemetrix aliens. Astrodactyl helps Ben reach Albedo's location, and they fight. Albedo transforms into Ultimate Albedo and reveals his plan for revenge. Ben tries various transformations but fails until feedback helps defeat Albedo. Rook and Max capture Albedo, but Kyber arrives, revealing that he has captured Asmuth. The story continues in the next episode, titled, For a Few Brains More. Ultimate Albedo and Kyber capture Asmuth and attempt to drain his intelligence using the Cerebral Vortex. The ultimate form of Albedo gives him the ability to control things with his mind. Ben, Max, and Rook try to rescue Asmuth, but are temporarily held back by Kyber's Panuncians. Ben transforms into Teraspin to save Asmuth, but the Cerebral Vortex activates, causing Asmuth's intelligence to be transferred into a green orb. Ben manages to escape with Asmuth, but the self-destruct sequence is activated, forcing them to leave the lair. Asmuth's brain communicates with Ben, guiding him on how to construct a new Cerebral Vortex. While Ben's team fights Albedo and Kyber in space, they are joined by Gwen and Kevin. They eventually land on Earth, where the battle with Kyber intensifies. During this fight, Albedo escapes. Asmuth helps Ben unlock a new alien that Ben uses to defeat Kyber. After that, Ben and his team go on to look for Albedo. They find him and discover that he plans on using his new powers to recreate the universe into a perfect universe according to his own standard. Asmuth unlocks another alien for Ben, and Ben uses that to defeat Albedo. I am no bug. I am... Uh... Uh... Atomics! Yes! Atomics! Asmuth's brain is returned to him, causing Asmuth to regain his immense intelligence. In the end, Asmuth modifies Albedo's Ultimatrix, transforming him into a ten-year-old Ben clone as part of his punishment. Next up, we see Albedo in a two-part special where the first episode is titled, And Then There Were None, and the second episode is titled, And Then There Was Ben. In this special, Albedo's role was very limited. He teamed up with Vilgax, Eon, and other alternate versions of Ben from different dimensions and timelines in an attempt to destroy Ben Prime. Sadly for Albedo and his, they were defeated by the Alliance of the Good Bens. After that, every evil version of Ben, including Albedo, were sent back to their original dimensions and timelines. Albedo makes his final appearance in the Omniverse episode titled, Malgax Attacks. Ben becomes annoyed with Skurd the slime biote living on the Omnitrix, and seeks help from Asmuth to remove him. Meanwhile, Vilgax and Albedo steal Malware's remains from the Galvan Historical Museum. Asmuth successfully removes Scourd, but Vilgax and Albedo launch an attack on Galvan Prime with Vilgax now wearing a Malware-powered battle armor. Ben, Max, and Asmuth team up to face the villains and the attack drones. Asmuth disables Albedo's Ultimatrix, but Vilgax proves to be a formidable opponent for Ben. However, with Skurd's help, 
Ben gains the upper hand by gaining the ability to use multiple alien powers at once and defeats Vilgax. Vilgax's ship starts to melt down, and he ends up blowing up with it after being transformed into a giant rock formation. In the end, Albedo is arrested and is left to clean up the mess he caused, and Vilgax is severely injured and petrified. Malware's remains begin to ooze out of Vilgax's petrified body, setting up potential trouble for the future. This final episode comes full circle in the story of Albedo. Albedo's journey started on the planet Galvin and ends there, with Malware serving as the antagonist both at the beginning and the end.